want to go to JVZoo or Warrior Plus or ClickBank or any of these websites where they include products that you can promote as an affiliate. And once you do that, you want to find a product uh, that you're willing to promote here. So let's say we're going to promote uh, Profit Builder, uh, which we wouldn't want to do because it's the price is too much for a front end offer. Like I said, remember that we want to find a product that has you know a price range of between seven and twenty-seven dollars for the front end. So in this case, I get a fifty percent commission with Profit Builder. Again, it's not the product that I would choose for the front end, um, but just for this example video, I'll show you what you would do. So you go back into your Aweber form settings, the second set there. You'd enter in your affiliate link. So now, anytime some, someone subscribes to one of your landing pages, they're now taken to your sales page where you get credit if they make the purchase. And you also wanna do this for your already subscribed page as well. Add, or, add in your affiliate link so that you can get credit for the affiliate commission. Then you wanna move on to step two. Now when you add your form code into your Profit Builder plugin, now when visitors go to your squeeze page and decide to opt in, enter their email address and give you their email address so they go into your autoresponder sequence, not only are you going to collect their email address to promote them over and over again, you're also going to redirect them immediately to the sales page of your choice and get a commission for anybody that makes a sale. So now you have a lot of different ways to make money. And again, I just want to repeat here that people try and make this whole make money online thing seem really complicated. But really, the whole thing, the whole deal is that you want to collect people's email addresses, build trust, and then promote stuff to them. So you want to be cool. You know what I mean? Like you want to get people's emails. Um, you want to provide value for them and show them that you're there to provide value and support for their journey. And then you want to promote them stuff that's actually going to help them. Uh, so I have this is my first email here in the sequence and so on and so on. And then I have all my emails promoting all my stuff. So that's basically the webinar in a nutshell, guys, and everything that you need to know to be able to get an autopilot income online. Because it seems like it might be a lot of work, but if you get the autoresponder, autoresponder sequence completely done for you, and you have the landing pages pretty easily edited in a matter of a few minutes by using Profit Builder, the work's pretty much all done for you. And once the work's done, you just get traffic and you just make sales. You basically get traffic, collect leads, and promote stuff to them. Forgot one more thing. I promised that I was gonna show you how to get traffic. Getting traffic is actually really easy, okay? This is easier or just as easy as any of the other steps that we've done in the video so far. I'm gonna take you to my personal Facebook account uh, for a second just to show you how you'd easily get traffic to your stuff. All you need to do to get traffic is go to Facebook, your version of Facebook, and enter into the Facebook search here. Click on solo ads, okay? And you're gonna have a lot of different options of solo ad groups. There's a ton in here, and you can see all these groups, you know, 18, 1,800 members, 3,400 members, 8,100 members, 2,600 members, almost 10,000. Okay, so you pick one of these, and you look in these groups. This one in particular is actually a Facebook group owned by myself. Um, but you go in these groups and you find people that are selling solo ads, okay? All you need to do is find out which of these sellers is a reputable solo ad seller. Now, the best way to do this is to actually look at their testimonials that they have. And a lot of them will have testimonial pages with people that are going to be commenting on the solo ad experience that they got from them. But an even better way to do it is you can actually, there's a Facebook group called Solo Ad Testimonials. And if you actually go into Solo Ad Testimonials and you search in this group, you're gonna find people that are providing reviews of Solo Ad sellers. So you just wanna find somebody who has a lot of positive reviews, who's been selling Solo Ads for multiple years. And if you do your due diligence, so you check and make sure that they have positive testimonials and all that good stuff, you can feel pretty safe that they're selling good traffic. Now, the next part of this process is you wanna see what they're selling for, okay? So people are gonna say, hey, like I'll sell you 500 visitors uh, for such and such amount of money. 
Now, when they do that, you you can know that prices for solo ads generally on Facebook and stuff is not set on stone. So you can actually usually get a better deal than what they list it for. You really just have to haggle and ask them for it. So this guy, for example, I've seen this guy around for a while, Imran Solo. So he's been around for a couple of years now selling solo ad traffic. And he's saying that he'll sell you a hundred to a thousand clicks and every click in the solo ad business is a visitor. So he's going to send you a hundred to a thousand visitors for 37 cents per visitor. So let's say that we bought 100 visitors, okay? So if we went to Imran Solo and we said, hey, like I, I saw that you're selling solo ad traffic for 37 cents per click. I will buy 100 clicks from you if you sell it to us for $35. Or, you know, like I'll buy 500 clicks for you for $150. Good chance that he's gonna say yes, especially if he has traffic available. Once you get those 500 visitors, let's say you buy 500 clicks for $150. When you buy 500 clicks for $150, you're gonna send it to your one of your main landing pages. So for me, this is a landing page that I'm really stoked on right now that took me a couple minutes to build with uh, Profit Builder. Um, so I'm gonna send 500 clicks to the squeeze page. Of those 500 clicks, with a squeeze, simple squeeze page like this, where they click on the download now button and they get this option, let's say that, let's say that 50% uh, subscribe, give me their email address. And that's actually um, pretty modest because in general, this squeeze page converts at around 60 to 70%. But let's say that it doesn't end up being the best traffic experience for me. I get less than I expected to and only half the people that go to this page decide to give me their email address. Well, that solo ad transaction for $150 is gonna give me 250 subscribers. Those 250 subscribers are gonna go into my Aweber autoresponder sequence where I'm going to automatically, without me even needing to touch anything because it's already set up, it's gonna automatically send them value and offers that are gonna give me affiliate commissions. But on the front end, right after they enter their email address, I also have an option to make one-time offer sales, which is like the $200 in 20 minutes sales page offer that I had. So if I, when I set up my one-time offer, let's say of those 250 people that decided to give me their email address, let's say that 10 people decide to make the purchase for 220 minutes, that $10 sales page. And I'll take you to it one more time so you can see what I'm talking about. But I'm pretty sure at this point that most people know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's say 250 people opt in. And of those 250 people, 10 people, 10 of the 250 people that opt in decide to make a purchase on the first sales page. Well, if 10 people make a purchase at $10 a pop, that's a hundred dollars that I've already recouped. So I've spent 150 on the solo and I've already got $100 back almost instantly just on the first sales page. Now let's say of the 10 people that decide to make a purchase on that sales page, let's say that two people decide to take an upsell each and each upsell is for $27. Okay. So let's say $27, um, ups, two people decided to take uh, an upsell each or one person decided to take two upsells, which are purchases that are made from this sales page after the initial purchase, $27 each. So that equals $54. So for my five, so for my 500 clicks for my $150 investment for 500 visitors, I've made 250, 250 subscribers and $154. So not only, um, I basically made everything that I've spent back. So I spent $150 and I got that $150 back. And the beautiful thing is you're probably thinking, or some of you anyways, you spent $150, you made $150, who cares? You didn't actually make anything. Well, that's not true because I also got 250 subscribers that are gonna go through my autoresponder speak sequence. And the vast majority of my sales are gonna come through this autoresponder sequence anyways. So my dollar per subscriber can actually be way higher 
than what I spend it on. So if I spend $150, I can make that $150 back right away. But over the course of a month, those 250 subscribers could make me, you know, 400, 300, 400 additional dollars, which is just complete free profit. So as you can imagine, the, the power of that system coming into play that if you have a good landing page that converts a good number of visitors into subscribers that go into your autoresponder sequence, you find a good offer that you can promote as an affiliate, um, and then you have your autoresponder sequence in place to collect additional affiliate sales. This is the this is the system you need. Okay, there's no ways around it. Um, this is the system that works. It is a foolproof system, and once it's set up, it's completely autopilot. You create it once, which doesn't even really take that. Like I said, you could probably do this in a weekend. You create it once, and all you need to do is. Uh, buy traffic, just basically pour on some gasoline, buy traffic for your landing page that's already optimized uh, to make sales and, and subscribers, and then you're just going to be able to collect affiliate commissions and subscribers for the duration of that funnel. Now you don't have to worry about creating more than one funnel, you only really need to create one landing page with affiliate offers and autoresponder sequence in place. And the reason why I say that is because the Make Money Online marketplace is massive. There's literally hundreds of thousands of people in this market. So it's like you're not going to really run the risk of showing the same person over and over and over again the same landing pages. Chances are when you buy all this traffic, you could buy, you know, like 20,000 clicks worth of solo ads. And chances are you're not going to repeat too many visitors because there's such a wide variety of people that are trying to make money online. And I've actually purchased hundreds of solo ads myself. So 100% this system works. It's uh, pretty easy to set up. It, the landing page is gonna be the most difficult challenge for you, but if you have WP Profit Builder, it's gonna be a lot easier and you can get it done in a few minutes. And once you get the autoresponder set up to Profit Builder and you're all good to go, you've basically got a system that's gonna make you money on autopilot forever. If you have any additional questions, I'm going to show you exactly where you should go if you want to ask me anything about how to set this system up, um, how, how to help you set this system up basically. So if you have any additional questions, this uh, webinar video hopefully has been valuable and informative for you, but let's say you're confused about something. You want to go to facebook.com and then you want to have a slash Macefids. If you go to facebook.com slash Macefids and then you click on um, messages. So if you send me a message on there, I get back to 100% of the people that send me messages on my Macefids fan page. That's how I've decided that I'm going to be receiving and sending emails from now on because I used to do personal emails through my email address but I found that my personal email inbox just got way too bogged down with questions and, and all that kind of stuff. So to simplify the whole process, I have kind of communication networks all over the place. I'm trying to consolidate them all to this medium. So if you want to ask me anything about this process, go to Facebook, um, my Macefids my Mace fan page, uh, throw me a question on there and I'll try and answer you as soon as I possibly can. Again, thank you for watching the webinar. I hope you got value and um, I hope to work with you more in the future. To learn how I increase my YouTube traffic by over 600%, make sure that you check out the video on the left side of your screen there. But before you check out that video, make sure that you also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get access to all of my marketing videos.